everybody so today i'm going to be filming a uh everyday make tutorial this is something that i do um on the weekends if i'm like going somewhere or um something like that um so if i want to do something that's not too heavy but is wearable you know for any occasion so that's the type of makeup i'm going to be doing today um and i have my coffee here and I'm sorry if my hands are red, it's because I was eating um, hot chips, so yeah, that's why. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, first, I'm gonna be starting off with um, like a primer. Um, usually I like to go in with my uh, NYX Hydro Touch Primer, which is this one right here, it's very moisturizing. It's almost like a moisturizer. Um, and I've used this in my past makeup tutorial. So I usually like to go in with this, or uh, if I'm going in with um, not like a full face but just only um concealer i would use my airborne glow cream so i think i'm just gonna use my nyx one because it is the drier um the colder months so my skin is going to be really dry and this is just um just an overall really good primer those ones where it like fills in your pores um oh look at the ingredients it just says it has chamomile green tea ginseng which i love ginseng for my skin because it really like helps um like wake up my skin and brighten it and all of that um so yeah it's just like more like a, a moisturizer really i like to concentrate it sometimes under my eyes and on my eyelids because it can get really dry underneath there I made sure to put on an eye cream before I put on makeup just because sometimes my under eyes and my eyelids can get really dry and it can be really hard for me to just to apply like any type of makeup on there. Okay. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of my glow cream on or creme. I'm just gonna have like a little dot on the back of my hand and then just put some underneath my eyes and where I would add highlighter. Like, a, you see that, that pearly um, finish, so it's really good to wear alone also, because um, when you start to blend it into your skin, um, it doesn't, it's not as, uh, like, strong like that, but when you blend it in, it gives a nice, like, see, um, glow. So you can just wear this alone as well. Um, every time I do um, foundation or anything that's like BB cream or anything, I always um, like to go in with a cooling facial mist. This is just my Cosrx facial mist. And I do this because my skin, it, it is really dry and it has like some dry spots. So I do this like every time I do a step in my face routine. So just a little bit of that. And um, when I was um, visiting my family in California, I went to... Um, Daiso, I forgot how to say it, and I bought this fan. So this is really gonna help just dry my face mist down. It has little cats on it. Okay, my skin isn't looking the best this week. I have like a breakout right here and then like just like small like little bumps because of the change in weather, which is really annoying. But um, I did pick up some new products over um, the past few months. And it's just like, um, just more light wear, uh, like foundation and BB creams. But, um, but yeah, so anyway, so what I'm going to be going in with is my, it's kind of dirty, but it's my Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This has SPF 30, which is good. I mean, 30 doesn't really protect anything. It's only 50 and above, but I mean, SPF is good either way. And I got in the color Ginger 06. And I saw, um, what's her name, Chessie, I forgot her last name, but um, she used this in a uh, makeup tutorial, a makeup video, and she really liked it, and she does a lot of, like, good reviews on, like, lighter wear makeup, so I thought, you know, Bare Minerals is good for any skin type, and you really can't go wrong with it, because it it's just made with good ingredients, so, um... So yeah, so it comes out like a gel consistency. It's kind of weird to get used to at first because I was like, this is kind of like like a moisturizer almost, but I like it. It's really good and it covers just what I need, and especially if it's like an everyday look and I just want a little bit of coverage. This is really good. Um, and then 
everything. So I go in with my finger first before with a sponge just so that um, I can really spread out the product and my sponge doesn't start to soak it up. And I don't really go and use uh, brushes for foundation just because I feel like it clings on weirdly to my skin and it irritates my skin a little bit because of how like the bristles are rubbing against it. So to me, I like to use a sponge for everything. I'm gonna go with my Real Technique sponge and just blend everything in. So now that is all blended, I'm gonna go again with my face mist. And just so that um, my face stays um, moisturized and it doesn't get cakey or anything. Okay, so next I'm gonna be going in with concealer and um, I was gonna say, I kind of made a dent in this, but this is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. I got it in the color Warm Light and I took off the little sponge because the thing was just grossing me out. Um, and so, I just take some on the back of my hand. I only use this um, for my under eyes, so I go right here. And I've heard a lot of people talk about this, obviously for ever since, you know, it came out years ago and I've never gotten it. I never tried it until like a few months ago and now I really like it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit here and on my forehead right here and a little bit right here. All right, and then go with my sponge. I'm gonna use a small mirror just cause like I have a mirror right here but I can't really see. really good at just covering and highlighting the face and a little goes a long way with this stuff and I go over my eyelid as well just to kind of conceal the color um, again with my face mist one more time and bam I learned that using uh, a mist all throughout your um, like base routine can really help make sure that your skin stays dewy and you don't get that like powdery look or um, that it doesn't settle in weird. Mm, cat hairs in my mouth. Okay, cool. All right. Now that that is done, I am going to use a little bit of powder. Um, here, this is also another new product that I've gotten. Um, it's the e.l.f., sorry, the Milk Makeup um, Translucent Medium Powder. Looks like this. I really like it. I don't use that much because, again, I have dry skin, so I make sure to go really light on this, but only in the areas that I know I need it. Uh, okay. Add some to the lid. Just a tiny bit. And then I'm just gonna swirl my bleh, my brush and add it underneath my eyes and just around here, like especially around here because I get oily there. And I don't bake anything, just a little bit, only where I get oily. I only use one brush full, so I know this is gonna last me a very long time. The only thing I don't like about pow loose powders is that they're so messy and they make everything look dirty, like in your makeup drawer. So that's the only thing. Anyway, so I'm just gonna finish that off and use my fan to do that. Okay, now powder done. Next, um, I'm gonna go in with my eyes, I'm gonna do my eyes. So for my, oh no, actually I'm gonna do my face. The rest of bronzer and everything. So for, sorry, for blush, I'm gonna be using the Dis Disney Designer Collection, um, ColourPop Collection. This is the one called Enchanted Mirror Pressed Powder Blush. It's the Beauty and the Beast Belle one. 
I love this color. I think this is my like my go-to blush color for basically any makeup look. Um, it's just a really nice muted pink color and it goes with, I think it would go with any skin tone in my opinion. So I'm just gonna add that onto my cheeks. I'm gonna use a different brush. This is not the brush I wanna use. I've been liking a highlighting brush. This is what it says on, on the e.l.f. brush, but I like using it because it's like a nice rounded one. So, and I can really get in the points of my face that I want to target. You know, I love blush. Like, I think it just completes a makeup look. A little bit on my nose, add it up here. It's really hard for me to sometimes detect where exactly I want to place blush because like I want to add it like here. I don't have like defined cheekbones so I kind of just like guess a little bit and kind of just move it around as I start to see the color pop up. But yeah, okay. And add a little bit on my forehead. Um, whenever I do eye looks, it's very simple. So I'm going to keep this out and use it for later because that's going to be part of my eye look. And then for my bronzer, this is just the only bronzer I use. It's the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula in the color Deep Bronzer. I want to try their lighter bronzer than this because I feel like whenever I'm this like pale in the wintertime, it would be better for my skin tone. But I just go really light. So I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Blush Brush um because it's just a nice way to like kind of bronze up the face with this brush and a little bit on the forehead right here and then just around the neck right here and i go really light with bronzer i'm the, i don't like to use too much and just make sure all the colors are cohesive in my in the makeup look i don't like it to be too defined on where the bronzer is and where the blush is and where the highlight is like to like mix it all together so for eyes i'm going to be using this beach cosmetics um neutrals 26 color shadow palette and i'm going to be taking just some light colors in here as you can tell these are all neutral colors so you really can't go wrong using any of these so um i'm going to stick it stick with a um neutral tone so i'm going to go with this brown color right here and just apply this into my crease oh sorry you can't see and just kind of use only one to two shadows and i carry it up to my brow bone a little bit just because of the eye shape that i have um sometimes i eyeshadows can get hidden so i really gotta like extend the shadow a little bit more and kind of play with it for my lid-ish area, because I'm not going to cover it uh, or pack it on, I'm going to take in this like peachy blush color and just add that to my um, bottom part of the lid, just right there, if you can see. Okay. So now that I finished pretty much the eyes, the only thing I'm gonna do is just incorporate my bronzer into my eye look. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just add it on the outer part and kind of put it into the crease a little bit just to incorporate it. Cause um, it kind of helps bring everything together by using blush and bronzer that you use on your face. Um, and it brings all the colors in, it kind of matches everything. Here's my um, blush that I used, and I'm just gonna take like a more fluffy brush, just dab into there and just kind of brush it onto the eye area. Um, onto the rest of the eyes, I'm gonna be using uh, my trusty old, uh, what is this mac powerpoint eye pencil in the color stubborn brown and i'm just going to be tight lighting my upper eyes right here my tight line that's what it's called yep this then i'm gonna go in and with a uh angle eyeliner brush and just go take any like dark brown shadow that you have i just take one from my um 
BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just going to like slightly use it as a winged liner and drag it to the bottom a little bit just to make a subtle liner on my eye because I'm not good with liquid or anything so this really like helps me just get that little bit of length in my eyes um to go on my bottom lash line i'm going to be using the same the bronzer color that i used and just add that to my bottom lashes okay i got a new mascara not recently kind of recently um i used to use my telescopic this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, but it wasn't giving me the volume that I wanted. It gave me a lot of good length, so this is like a really good bottom lash mascara. But I wanted something that was going to give me more volume, so I got the Blush Paradise um, in the color, it's just a bot color. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. lashes i'm just gonna use the telescopic mascara it has like a nice thin brush so it's perfect to get in there and one more time with my spray not my favorite thing to do like i hate doing my eyebrows but that's why i just use a glossier boy brow in the color black and this is just super easy it's i'm already running out of this but i need to go get a new one or try the milk one there i think it's the kush brow something but this is just super easier for me to just brush through them and just fill them in and put them in place especially when i want to do a makeup look that's not too difficult to do uh the, 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 the highlighter so i'm gonna take two things my becca highlighter in the color opal this is a cream highlighter so I just like to add this on the high points of my face and take the same one on my nose and down my nose bridge, Cupid's bow, just to my brow bone and right here to get that nice extra shine. I just add it only where I need. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the ColourPop Disney Collection in Horse and Carriage, the pressed highlighter from the Cinderella. So, Cinderella one. So I'm just gonna add this. It's very, very pigmented. So I just add a little dot, uh, dust it off, and then just add it only on where I want a little bit of highlighter. So right here. Last part is lips. This is probably the hardest part of my makeup look because um, I have, a lot of lip different lip colors and it can either like make or break the whole like makeup look or how i feel about it but this has been my go-to which is these three here this tiny little stub is um my mac lip liner in the color sore i need to get another one obviously but i'm going to just line my lips a little bit i want to get more mac liners just because i love the quality of them my mom used to only use mac makeup and so now every time i use it, i just think of like her doing her makeup and like the products that she has in her drawer and this is like one of the first ever like mac products I ever bought with my own money okay i use my finger just to blend it out for um my like lipstick it's already rubbed off which is kind of sad but this is the disney um color pop collection again in the color beast so from the bell princess and the stopper like doesn't work at all really so this packaging kind of sucks and again this like lip color is also something that i hope stays around for a long time because it's like my all-time favorite like lip color to go with the lip uh the lip liner and i use my 
think I just smoothed everything out. Gloss, I'm using the Fenty Fenty Glow Gloss, a staple in pretty much everyone's makeup collection. And I love the applicator, it's so like chunky. Finish it off one last time, my facial mist. So I need to buy another one. I get this on Amazon, it's like $14 for this i mean it is quite small but i mean this is probably something that just helps really moisturize my face after putting a lot of products on the old fan there we go so that is my everyday not every day because i would do not wear makeup every single day but like my whenever i go out on the weekends makeup Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll, hopefully I'll be making more videos soon, more makeup related. And I want to do another skincare video because my skincare has, uh, my routine has definitely changed since the last video, I feel like. So I have a lot of new products I kind of just want to share with everybody and just kind of like do it for my own self too, just to see how much my skin has changed from the last video, which I feel like it has. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough rambling and that's the end of the video. See you guys next time. Bye.